Good Friday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onick. It's been an active morning already, looking at showers and thunderstorms across a good portion of the Mid-South area, and we'll continue to see those throughout pretty much the rest of the day. Plus, if you're heading out the door pretty soon, it's been very mild overnight. We've been seeing, again, some very above normal temperatures out there throughout the morning hours but the main thing for today is if you haven't left the house just yet right past eight o'clock this morning take a jacket with you because you are going to need it by the time you get home if you're not coming home until later on tonight so we're talking about some Big temperature changes coming on through as we go throughout the course of the rest of the day. If you notice on the seven-day forecast, if you take a look at the 75 on Friday down in the lower left-hand corner of your screen, there's an arrow next to it pointing downwards, and there's a very good reason for that. So get prepared for some big changes coming on through when it comes to temperatures. Coming up, we'll take a look at the still active tropics. We'll take a look at Friday night football forecast for tonight, which hopefully is going to pan out for a good portion of the area, but still the possibility of some more raindrops coming on through. And we'll take a look at severe weather in the Mid-South and how you can get ready for that with the next meetings coming up from Skywarm. Drop your location and your weather reports into the comments section, and away we go. We'll talk about what's going on with the weather for today. Again, we may gain a degree or two throughout the rest of the morning. By the end of News Channel 3's Live at 9, we might see temperatures into the mid to upper 70s in parts of the Mid-South. But on the other side of that front, this air is coming on through. Now, for those of you watching around, say, uh, Jackson, Tennessee, Corinth, Mississippi, Oxford, Mississippi, you're not going to see this cooler air until later on this afternoon. Those of you north of the metro area, Jonesboro, Dyersburg, Harrisburg, Blyville, you're going to see the temperatures change, and quite soon, in the next couple of hours, we're going to be looking again at some temperatures on the chilly side coming our directions as we get into the rest of the area for the day today. So again, please be prepared for that as we get into later on this afternoon and especially this evening, heading out on the town, Friday night football, anything like that. Get ready for some much cooler weather out there. Not a record high yesterday, but doggone close. 87 degrees are high on Thursday. Normal for this time of the year, 76 degrees. 68 was our low temperature yesterday morning, and that, again, is way above where we should be. Still way ahead for the year on precipitation, but because we've gotten so little in the way of rainfall, we still have a wildfire danger. We'll talk about that coming up as well in just a little bit. More weather information available, again, at wreg.com slash weather for more details there. Welcome to everybody else who's uh, checking in with us this morning. Rain, lightning, thunder in Covington, Tennessee. Arter Bridge, Louise Tina, welcome to the show. Thanks a lot for the weather report. Mason, Lynn Frank, lots of thunder here. Thank you very much uh, for that one at this point in time. Mike Mayberry Sr., Selmer, looking for some cooler weather. Aren't we all at this point? would like to have some of that coming on through uh, for the next couple of days on there. Currently in Oxford at the University of Mississippi. Just cloud cover, not seeing anything in the rain gauge yet. 70 degrees, pretty close to where it was about 24 hours ago. And again, more chances of rainfall coming on through. From former mayor, current meteorologist Sam Reichard on the Weather Underground Network in Olive Branch, Mississippi. Sam's camera right here looking back to the northwest, showing a few breaks in the clouds, but more overcast skies. 72 degrees at Olive Branch Airport and nothing in the way of rain yet. Those winds still out of the south at about 12 miles miles an hour, and that's going to have an important factor on our weather throughout the rest of the morning. Memphis International cloud cover and some rainfall out there for this morning. Thunderstorms reported at the airport, winds out of the south about 12, and this icon denotes delays of 15 minutes or less, so looking very good for travelers here. Unfortunately, there's other possibilities of problems out there. Houston reporting some delays that's increasing 15 to 30 minutes, also some delays due to weather and other uh, issues at LaGuardia in New York City. Denver yesterday had some pretty serious delays thanks to the weather. Not the case today, but again, with the storm system rolling through this area of the country, get set for some possible delays uh, into and around portions of the area all the way on through. Downtown Memphis, rain on the camera lens looking across the Peabody and downtown Memphis rooftops, Union Avenue on the soggy side for this morning. 
And again, not the case out west. If you've been following the news on News Channel 3 or online throughout the entire Friday morning hours, lots of problems with transportation in Southern California as the fires get whipped up by the Santa Ana winds. Some parts of I-5 closed in and around the Los Angeles area and still at a very high fire danger in northern parts of California, north of Sacramento. Uh, PG&E turning off the power to avoid the swaying power lines sparking in that windstorm that moved on through. So not great news out west. What we have is that same storm system moving through the Mid-South at this time, and as it does, big changes taking place. Showers and thunderstorms for this morning, and looking again at some showers and thunderstorms most numerous north of I-40 at this point. The metro area, mainly across the northern part of Shelby County, getting some showers just past about almost 10 past uh, 8 o'clock, and heavier showers and thunderstorms up around Covington, south of Ripley, Tennessee, crossing in from eastern Arkansas. Beyond that, not that much in the way of anything to worry about. We have no severe weather risk today. That's great news, but unfortunately for outdoor activities, more of this is going to be possible. Embedded in here is the potential of some pretty heavy rainfall, and that could diminish visibility out across the Mid-South. So lots of time to get to where you're going on the area roadways. And just to be on the safe side, again, just to make certain you slow down and keep it under the speed limit. Look at some of these winds out there, again, mainly out of the southeast to the southwest on live real-time weather net three just to the north of the mid-south temperatures are going to be heading downwards but here in the area again we're still seeing those winds keeping the temperatures up so we're going to get some very mild numbers pretty soon but as you head out the door we are going to see those temperatures drop into the rest of the day running the numbers here's what we're going to see through about lunchtime today northeast mississippi by about lunchtime mid to upper 70s possible, mid to upper 60s from Oxford, Tupelo, Corinth into and around northwestern Alabama. Look back to the north and west of that front as it passes on through. Lower 50s as we get into around the area close to around this afternoon and into this evening. Now, the bulk of any thunderstorms should be heading out of the picture by the time we get into this afternoon and this evening, but we may see again some showers and thunderstorms sticking around as we go into this afternoon. Unfortunately, right about Friday night football, so be prepared to take along some rain gear and maybe the possibility of some postponements or some cancellations. Again, thousands of people attending a sporting event. When there's lightning around, you got people sitting on wet metal bleachers. That's not a good combination when lightning is in the area. So please heed the officials' warnings if they cancel or postpone. Get out of that area, get to shelter as soon as you possibly can. Rest of the period tonight, going into the lower 50s to mid to upper 40s by News Channel 3 at 10, and by early tomorrow morning, lower to mid 30s, north of I-40. Could be looking at some wind chills tomorrow morning, whereas we are talking about heat indexes in the Mid-South just about 24 hours ago. So a big shift in the temperatures coming on through. Really good news. Again, generic thunderstorms possible, but nothing showing up in the way of severe weather for the Mid-South for Friday. Could be a few storms that are a little stronger. We'll keep our eyes on that, so stay tuned for more. Saturday doesn't look like much. Sunday does see the potential of some thunderstorms south of the viewing area, but not much more than that at this point in time, so pretty quiet across much of the area for now. Back into the mid-70s through the rest of this morning, but once again, we've got that arrow pointing downwards on there, and that means we'll be seeing the dropping temperatures coming up throughout the rest of the day. Cool and dry back in the lower 40s for low temperatures early on Saturday morning. Lower 60s for high temperatures throughout the rest of the forecast for Saturday. A little bit warmer, still sunny on Sunday. We have a minor storm system going to bring us some more cloud cover late Sunday afternoon and evening. Mostly sunny otherwise, but the storm system coming on through is going to be very dry on both sides, very weak. So I doubt we're going to be seeing too much of anything out of that. Next best chance of anything involving showers or thunderstorms next Tuesday and Wednesday. And temperatures remain pretty mild in the 60s and 70s, right about maybe a little lower than what they should be but decently comfortable. Numbers will head upwards into next weekend. Mid to upper 70s, yes, that's warm. A little bit above normal, but not the 80s and definitely nowhere near the 90s, so that's definitely some good news out there. And chances of showers and thunderstorms again, isolated by next weekend. 
this is still several days away, so this could definitely change. So keep it tuned to News Channel 3, and we'll keep you updated on that. All counties in Arkansas and Tennessee have, in the viewing area at least, no burn bans in effect at this time. Mississippi, the entire state remains under a burn ban until further notice that was proclaimed by the governor late last week. Again, the possibility of wildfire is pretty high. Limited counties in southern Arkansas and three counties in middle Tennessee. That's about it for wildfire burn bans at this point. That could change. More information about all of this, go to WREG.com. Scroll down beneath the forecast and you'll see this map and links to all kinds of other information there. The Gulf and the Western Caribbean is quiet. We have nothing developing at this time. Fall break, if you're heading out the door pretty soon and going to be heading anywhere from, say, Chesapeake Bay, the Delmarva Peninsula area, and back to New England, new storm system kind of merged two systems together. This thing is getting stronger with storm force winds out there already. So we're talking about 30 to 40 miles per hour plus at least. And this, the Hurricane Prediction Center giving this system about a 60% chance of developing into something significant, possibly a named storm somewhere within about the next 48 hours. So if you're traveling to the East Coast, Maine, down toward again, the area close to DC, I'd watch this very carefully because this could possibly scramble a few travel plans out there. So stay tuned to News Channel 3 and the Hurricane Center for more details. Coming up next Thursday, a lot of you have asked about what winter is going to be holding. And the official forecast from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration will be released next Thursday. It'll be a teleconference for media and scientists only, but it'll be released to the public right after that. We'll bring you that information as well at wreg.com slash weather and, of course, on our social media networks, so stay tuned for more on that. Coming up in the next few days and weeks, the final meetings of Storms that again need to be watched. You want to know what to look for. Severe weather spotters will be needed across the Mid-South and if you'd like to volunteer for the National Weather Service in Memphis to become a Skywarn spotter, these are the next few meetings. Starting next Tuesday in Oxford, Mississippi at the Fire Department. Thursday the 17th next week in Tippa County, Mississippi in Ripley at the hospital. And Thursday, October 24th Alcorn County, Mississippi at McCollum Hall in Corinth, Mississippi. More information again WREG.com slash weather for more details on that. We'll have updates on the forecast, tracking the rain and thunderstorms coming up on my Facebook page, Twitter, and Periscope later this morning. Once we get everything in the studio recorded, it'll be roughly about 1045, 1050, so join us for that update a little bit later on. One more check of the forecast. And again, for today, big dip in the temperatures coming on through. Hasn't started for a lot of the Mid-South, at least just yet anyway, but it will as we get into the rest of the day. So if you're heading out the door pretty soon, be prepared for some cooler temperatures out there. Mr. Keith Caldwell. This is my guy. Photojournalist extraordinaire, one of the best people here at News Channel 3. How y'all doing? Yeah. Listen to this weather report. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> nice talking to you. Never can tell who's going to drop by around here. Looking again at the change in temperatures, again, going to be a big thing into later on tonight. So, again, we'll keep updated on that as we go throughout the rest of the forecast for this evening. We'll have updates from News Channel 3's Tim Simpson. Jim Jaggers is going to take the evening off for tonight. So, Tim will have your forecast update around News Channel 3 first at 4. And, of course, I'll have your forecast update into the weekend coming up starting Saturday morning at 6 a.m., Nina Harrelson will be our anchor for that, for the news through the day. So definitely stay tuned for more there. Questions, concerns, comments, ideas, complaints, if you absolutely must, again, drop me a line at austin.onic at wreg.com slash weather. Would love to hear from you on that. Stay tuned for more throughout the rest of the day with News Channel 3 on air and online. And thanks for joining us for Friday morning's Weather Overtime.